Hello my friends, we are back again for another really exciting episode of the AOP Plus Print On Demand Academy. Today I'm going to show you where I get my inspiration for Halloween designs, so how you can find design ideas, where you can get some awesome graphics from, and then I'm going to dive into the computer here, not literally, but I'm going to show you in Photoshop how you can design an awesome all over print sweatshirt with AOP Plus so you can start selling a heap of those for Halloween and you can also use these same skills I'm gonna show you for awesome Christmas designs or whatever you want to do with these amazing all over print sweatshirts that AOP Plus has in their catalog. So let's get into it. All right, friends, before we start designing our new and exciting Halloween collection inside the AOP Plus app, uh, we want to look at ways that you can, or places where you can get inspiration for your designs. Now, this is not just for Halloween. This is just for any sort of niche research that you're doing. But obviously, the season right now we're coming up uh, into is Halloween. So great selling time for print-on-demand sellers. So one of the first places I like to go to is Pinterest. Pretty easy. Obviously, we don't steal designs and pinch images from here to use, but we just get ideas. So you can say, Halloween, Halloween shirt. Type in whatever you like, uh, you know, relating to your niche, and you'll just get thousands and thousands of different ideas. Things like this, goosebumps and whatnot. Make sure you're not infringing on any IP or copyright or trademarks or anything like that, uh, because you will get in a lot of trouble. So Pinterest is a great visual search engine to get ideas from. The other one is Etsy. Same deal here. We don't go here and steal people's designs, but you can just look for ideas and you'll see there's thousands and thousands of different ideas here. So another great place to go. You can also get your artwork from here. So if you go things like Halloween SVG, you can get all sorts of different PNGs and artworks and whatnot from here. Just make sure you check the licenses uh, to make sure you're allowed to resell uh, those designs on print-on-demand products. And the next place I like to look at for actual designs, uh, you can certainly just get inspiration from here, but for actual designs is Creative Fabrica. Now I'll leave links to, um, to this below for you help if I could spell correctly but it actually still works even when I spelt it wrong but you simply just type in your niche Halloween and you'll see there are thousands and thousands of things that come up Halloween fonts um, you know different images and graphics and you again you'll need to probably subscribe to your pod uh, subscription here so that your print on demand subscription which does give you the license now, I've actually already got an amazing design that I'm going to use with an all over print product inside of AOP Plus. And I got it from here, one of my favorite designers online, uh, Stardust Graphics. So if you come over here, again, I'll leave the link for you below. There's a brand new spooky clip art pack, but I'm actually using this Horror Heads seamless pattern. So if you're not into horror and gore, look away now. But I've got this amazing uh, piece of artwork here that's, that's an original design from Stardust Graphics Shop. And I'm gonna show you how to use that as a pattern on the AOP Plus sweatshirt. All right, so what I've done is I've taken my seamless pattern, the horror pattern, and I've opened it in Photoshop. Now, if you don't use Photoshop, there's obviously plenty of other alternatives out there. GIMP is a good one, PhotoP is another good one. Uh, but, you know, I like to use Photoshop. It's reasonably affordable, I just pay every month. Uh, and what I'm gonna do here is show you a little trick. So I've got the AOP Plus sweatshirt. This is just the front, uh, template okay we've also got a back template and the sleeves template but what I'm going to do is show you a little trick how we can get that pattern uh, and try different sizes without too much trouble so what we do is we open up the seamless design so the seamless pattern uh, that's what's great about this designer too she's created it so it is seamless meaning you can tile this uh, and you're going to see that this dude's head here is already 
partly over there. So it creates a nice seamless design, it takes quite a bit of skill to create these. And it's something that a lot of patterns uh, that you won't get in a lot of patterns you buy unless you specifically search for and are purchasing a seamless pattern. So what we do here is I've opened this up, uh, I go up to edit and I go define pattern. And I'm just going to call this Halloween pattern. Okay. Now what that's done is you'll see here, if we go over to my template, uh, in this template, you'll download when you download it from the AOP plus app, it'll just be like this. Now I'm just going to fill this template here just with uh, this layer with a color. Okay, and then I go to blending options. And what I'm going to do is do pattern overlay. And you can see there, I've got a lot of patterns in here. Um, it's already come up there. And the great thing is, you can just go, you can scale it down or up. Okay, depending on how how you want it to look. Now I think something like because um, you don't want it to be too repetitive, but you don't also want to miss out on certain elements. I think around there looks pretty good. So just over ninety percent. Okay, and we're going to turn off these, and then we're just going to save this, and I'll see you back over in the AOP Plus app. All right, so I've come. Back over to the AOP Plus app, the first thing I'm going to do is start a new collection with that awesome design that I've just done. Now, I did mention that there is actually a sleeves template and also a back template, okay? Design templates for this sweatshirt. But I'm gonna show you something. You might not necessarily need to do them. It depends how, how different you want your design to be on the different elements of the garment. But I'm gonna show you that right now. Okay, so that's created that collection. Now I just go into it. And I'm going to go with the premium cut and sew sublimation sweatshirt. So we turn that on. You don't need to turn it on yet, but obviously you need to do that when it's time to publish anyway. All right, so once you're in here, you'll see that image is already here because we assigned that to this collection. Now we just click this image here. Now you will also notice that this is familiar because that is the same as the Photoshop template I used for this design. So there you go, you can see it pops straight in there and it generates a preview here, which is really cool. Now, because I just want this running over the entire garment, um, you know, if I wanted to just create black sleeves or different color sleeves, then I would have to just use the different templates that come when you download the template from here. Um, so it's pretty easy to do. But what you do is you just move to the next layer and I just want this on all of the layers. And then we go to left sleeve. So I'm just gonna put this across all of the layers. And as I do that, you'll see this preview over here update. So that looks pretty cool. If you really wanted to get detailed, you might say, okay, I want the sleeve cuffs or the waist cuff. So that's this bottom section. I want that to be plain black. Um, you know, you can see the heads get a bit mangled up there, which is normal because that's where there's folds and, and stitching and whatnot. So if you wanted to get really particular, you can do all that. And that's what's great about these AOP Plus products. I could even make the neck band a different color. So all you do is when you're designing your template uh, in Photoshop, you just you know drop a rectangle uh, black box over there or whatever color you want it to be. So I'm happy with that because I just want it to go all over the entire product. And all you do is come down here, you enable whatever sizes you want. You can set your pricing here, adding your markup, or you can set it later. You can change your titles and descriptions. Again, you could do that later. I always like to tidy that up later in the Shopify product. But what we do here is we save product. And we can hit publish. Now you can see I've got one product enabled. I can start putting that same pattern, uh, that same design on a whole heap of different products if you want. Um, and then you can publish them later. I'm just gonna publish this one for now, but we might look at doing some blankets and some of the other awesome products that are suitable for the colder weather as well in the UK and in the USA. Obviously where I'm located in Australia, it's getting warmer. So you might wanna put something like this on one of the all over print t-shirts or something like that in the AOP Plus catalog. There is over 140 products, so there's certainly no shortage of awesome products that I could use this design on.
And there you have it friends, that is how you create an all over print sweatshirt with AOP Plus. So make sure as per usual, you drop any questions in the comments, give us a like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. We release videos every single week and I look forward to helping you in the next episode sell more on your print on demand store. Thanks again guys.